Welcome back to The Score, the Upper Miami Valley's only high school sports show, brought to you by Buffalo Wild Wings. Just like being in your living room, but with service, Chuck Fox, Dave Fisher here with The Score. And Chuck, it's always good to go out to see Darcy out of B-dubs. We miss her, and we're, we're, we're ready to go back out there and, and do shows, but we go out there and enjoy some wings. We going out tonight? Uh, I think we might go out tonight. Uh, sounds good. Show. Sounds so good. Go out and see our good friends out of B-Dubs, Darcy, Kimmy, and the whole crew out there, because they will take care of you. And now joining us here this evening, uh, one, of the, uh, one of the premier pole vaulters in the Miami Valley League, uh, Sophie Fong. Sophie, welcome to The Score, young lady. Hello. Hello. Don't be afraid to yep. lean into the mic. Get okay. right get right on in there. You know, uh, your father, I'm going to say this, one of your biggest fans uh, in the, the, the post that he made, I think a week or so ago, of you, your first trying, I think, of pole vaulting, <laughs> and then when you cleared, I think, 12 feet. Yes. Uh, what a what a big difference in just a few years and congratulations on hanging tight in there thank you so much so what made you what 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 made you decide pole vaulting so I used to be a tumbler and my tumbling classes were out at Miami East and two of my coaches her apartment and Roger Bowen were working with some of their high schoolers out there and I saw it and I obviously thought it was just so cool and so my dad went over and was talking to the coaches and they let me try it, and I was just obsessed with it ever since. Uh, that's it, it is amazing. Like I said, we, you know, we saw the before and after, and and, and one other quick, one real quick question is: yes. is how I have a hard time getting on a twelve foot ladder that flexes. <laughs> how in the world do you trust that pole because you are actually flexing that pole, young lady? Yeah, honestly, it just happens so fast. You can't really tell what's happening. Right. So it just kind of. And it's not like it happens all at once. Like, it's such a gradual progression over time. I think if it was, like, one day you just went that high, it would be a lot scarier than it is right. since you go for a long period over so, time. So you're just getting used to it, and as the pole flexes, and the higher you go, the more that pole is going to flex. Yes. Wow. Well, and I got to say, I mean, the going up looks fun. Yeah. But the coming down, I mean, <laughs> you know, that's the thing. I mean, it's got, I mean, you have a big pad that you're landing in and everything, but you have to have an exhilaration every time you, you uh, have one and, and the pole doesn't move. And, oh, for sure. And, yeah, and what does that feel like when you're coming down and you're just saying, don't fall? Yeah. So, like, sometimes you'll, like, hit the bar at the top and it'll just shake a little bit. And it's honestly, like, the most nerve wracking feeling because you just want it to stay up so badly but then once you come down and you know it stays it's just it's honestly hard to describe it because it all happens so fast but when it just stays it's just because you work so hard and it's like you know immediately when you do good like with the running events like you don't know until after you're done like you know while it's happening and it's really great well and i have to ask you 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 have been working with a legendary coach uh herb hartman yes. i mean he was around a, a track coach when i was in high school that tells you how long ago he's been there yes. yeah exactly but i mean he is such a good coach and what does it feel like especially you winning at the herb hartman invitational and and doing that for your coach oh i knew going into that meet that there hasn't been a troy volter to win that meet in a really long time and who knows how much longer he's going to be coaching hopefully he can finish out at least for me but i really wanted to do that for him even more than for myself and so when i won i was very happy that i got to do that for him because i could tell he was so excited and it was really nice well and so you just hit your your personal record yes. of 12 foot yes the school record is 12 foot four, right? Yes. All right, so how long are we, is it going to take till we see you get that record? My goal is definitely to get it this year. I attempted for it the same day I went 12, but I didn't quite get it. So I definitely want to clear that by the end of the season. Okay, so you, you have tried it and mm -hmm. you haven't. So what's the, um, where do you see yourself as far as with the league meet? Where do you think you need to be to win league? So there's another vaulter named Grace Conway from Greenville, and her PR is also 12 feet. So I think it's going to be a really tough battle between the two of us. So I think it's at least going to take 12 feet to win that. So. And, and did you go to state freshman year? I did not. I placed at regionals, but I was two, three spots away from getting to state. All right. So I know, obviously, you didn't get to go mm -hmm. last year, everything yeah. that washed out. So I know your goal has to be that you want to make state this year. For sure. I definitely want to go to state, and I would also really like to place this year. 
Okay, so be on the podium. I think that you can really do better than that. I think we can see you bring back uh, a, a state, uh, what is it, gold medal or, you know, a first place finisher or be a state yeah, that's, champion. That's with going that. to be hard, especially this year. There's a lot of good vaulters coming out of Columbus. Okay. So we'll, see. well, and so overall then, how is the track team doing? for Troy. Where do you see and, and how are we, you know, moving forward looking into the um, the Miami Valley League meet? Yeah, it's definitely different because we lost so many seniors that we would have had last year and it's definitely a really young team, but I feel like we've progressed a lot throughout the season in all of our events. Like we're, I feel like we have a lot of depth in all of our field events and our sprinters are really starting to develop and so I think that we should be pretty good going into MVL this year. Do you do you think? I mean, as as you get go into the you know the state meets and and all of that, do you think that your team as a whole is going to be able to uh, compete real well and maybe get into the state? Um, so Coach Snyder has been working really hard with some of our sprint relays, and I think that they have a really good shot. And I'm not entirely sure how the distance kids and the other field event kids are doing, but I think that we definitely have some really good sprint relays that have a good chance of getting in. So on, on the, you know, you're a junior this year, you know, the, the leadership and, and those folks that, you know, the, the, the athletes that take the leadership, who else is some of the leaders on the, on the Troy track team? I would say Brenna Hutchinson, who's a sprinter, and Bailey Brogan, who are, who's a high jumper. I'd say those two are probably the best leaders on our team this year. They are always just making sure that we're doing what we're supposed to be doing, and they do a really good job. Well, and I got to say, I mean, the the women's team for Troy has been really, come, I mean, over the past couple of years has really been the strong suit as far as track and field goes. Is that still continuing? You see that happening and, and continuing as because the field events seem like the, the women are really leading uh, at Troy High School. Yeah, I would like to think so. I mean, we always put in so much effort and we all take it so seriously. So again, it was definitely a hard setback missing last season and losing so many seniors, but I still think that we're keeping the tradition strong. So over that last year, what did you do to um, get through last year? And were you still um, going to meets um, throughout last year? Um, so I had a couple like fake indoor meets down in Ansonia with some of, <laughs> yeah, with some of the coaches that I bought with and it was just kind of like it was just like a couple kids so I got to do in a couple meets just to get practice it was more like a practice at a bar honestly okay. but it was nice to kind of get back into that so no real meets okay since. and and what are do you see what, then what will you be doing this this summer are there um, things that you're going to be doing um, between your, your uh, junior and senior year? Yes, so I'll be practicing all summer and there might be one or two meets and then I'll also be doing indoor track. And I think, I'm hoping that this year there's gonna be a lot more colleges that are gonna hold indoor meets this year because there really weren't any last year that I could go to. So, so. At, at this point, uh, who has contacted you as far as colleges about moving forward? I'm, I'm sure you know, your biggest cheerleader, your father's probably telling you, you you're going to move on to college. So uh, any any thoughts, anybody, anyone that is sticking out in your, in your mind right now, or are you still pretty much undecided? Yeah, I mean, it's hard to say. I haven't really been able to see that many colleges, and I would still like to talk to a lot more coaches. So I'm not, like, definitely not settled on one. I'm trying to keep an open mind and see as many as I can. So with you looking at colleges, do you have in mind what you want to study when you go to, to uh, college? Yes, so eventually I want to go to med school and I want to become a doctor and I'm not sure what I want to do, but I know I want to go in, somewhere into pediatrics. Okay, well, uh, your dad's smiling over there. He's sitting there going, yeah, my, my <laughs> retirement's good. <laughs> uh, have, you, have you considered the Ohio State University? Definitely, I, we went over the summer and just walked around the campus and I loved it. And I know they have great medical programs, so. That's definitely pretty high up on my list of places I would and like to go. And they have good both indoor and outdoor track teams. So, and that would be a great place to be able to go too. But it sounds like the door's wide open for you as to where you want to go. Yeah, I hope so. I'd like to get maybe another foot by the time I graduate and that should really open up a lot of doors as far as colleges yeah, absolutely. go. Absolutely. Yeah, uh, yeah, you get uh, over that 13 foot mark. Uh, I'm thinking uh, you'll write your ticket. Dad won't have to pay for college. <laughs> so, what is the what's the state record for in pole vaulting? For Division One, it is 13-7. Okay. So, where are your odds? What do you think? And and I know that you're you're you've got that in your head. What do you feel as though can you reach that by the end of your senior year? 
it's gonna be pretty difficult I think but my goal I definitely want to get over 13 by the time I graduate and I think anything beyond that is just a bonus okay well and and obviously I think that that you really have the ability to do that thank you um the conditioning mm -hmm. what type of conditioning are you, do you do throughout the the year and then to prepare for uh pole vaulting yes yeah, so I work a lot with our strength and conditioning coach Gibbons and then so I do that all during the summer and then all during the winter. And then it's hard to do it during the season just with our meet schedule, but I try to get out there as much as I can. So you know, he works and then we do like lifting and then condition. And then like we do like outdoor conditioning and like running and stuff in the summers too. I'd say that's the most of it. Just... Well, you know, one thing I want to ask you, and, and you were you were in the, uh, the Troy Pop Rocks. Yes. And you know, so you're used to kind of playing in front of large crowds. So. Has, has that, or the Pop Rocks, kind of helped you with, you know, competing as far as, you know, being on a, a stage? For sure. I think that one of my biggest advantages is I don't let the big meets stress me out. I just try to keep a cool head, and I like, I love competing under pressure. I think it's so much fun. So I definitely think that performing in front of the big colleges ever since I was eight is a huge advantage to me because I don't get super stressed easily about competing in big meets. Well, and... I want to ask you one more corrupt question. How do you put up with your father? I just have to <laughs> ask that right straight off. How do you put up? Because him and I go back a long, a long, a long way, and uh, I just always, and he is one of your biggest fans, and I'm always enjoying his posts, but how do you put up with this guy? No, he's super good at meets. He's always super <laughs> encouraging, and he's always over on the sidelines yelling at me in a good way. Right. So, no, how, it's nice. How much does he pace before you, um, uh, He's probably nervous, pulse. more nervous than oh, she is. Oh, yeah, for sure. No, he will, like, walk, especially if I have, like, a bad first jump. He will, like, storm off and, like, walk up and down the field and just. <laughs> no, he is so much more anxious than I am. We could do a whole nother show sure. on David Fogg's <laughs> stories, yeah, and we right. would love to do that. But, unfortunately, right. we have more show to do. But, yeah, so uh, we appreciate you coming in here this evening and, and doing this. And, and congratulations on, on 12, you know, getting at 12 feet and. And let's uh, let's go ahead and break that record, school record this year, and then uh, let's let's go. Let, just bring us back a state title, young lady. Thank you, and thank you for having me. I'll try my best, but no promises there. All right, Sophie Fong, pole vaulter for our Lady Trojans, and we're going to take a quick break, and we're going to come back with the wrap of the score right after these messages here on Power 107.1 WTJN.